Hello and welcome back to our channel where we discuss all things related to the environment and climate change. Today, we will be talking about an important topic, ecological economics. Ecological economics is a branch of economics that emphasizes the interdependence between the economy and the environment. Unlike traditional economics, which focuses on maximizing economic growth and development, ecological economics considers the long-term impacts of economic activities on the environment and society. The basic premise of ecological economics is that the environment is a finite resource, and therefore, economic activities must be sustainable to ensure the long-term well-being of society and the planet. Ecological economics also emphasizes the need for social equity, recognizing that economic growth can have unequal distributional effects. Here are some key principles of ecological economics. Sustainability. Economic activities must be sustainable, meaning they should not compromise the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Interdependence. Economic activities are interconnected with the environment and society, and must be analyzed in the context of these relationships. Social equity. Economic growth must be inclusive, and should not have unequal distributional effects. Precaution. The potential environmental and social impacts of economic activities must be taken into account, even in the absence of conclusive scientific evidence. Participation. The public must be involved in the decision-making process to ensure that economic activities are compatible with environmental and social sustainability. Ecological economics has several applications, including in the field of natural resource management, environmental policy, and sustainable development. It also emphasizes the need for interdisciplinary research and collaboration to address complex environmental and economic challenges. Here are some factors that affect ecological economics. Natural resource availability. The availability of natural resources such as clean air, water, and biodiversity are crucial for ecological economics. The depletion or degradation of natural resources can negatively impact the economy and society. Population growth. The growth of the human population can put pressure on natural resources and lead to increased demand for goods and services. This can lead to unsustainable economic growth and development. Technological advancements. Advances in technology can help to reduce the environmental impact of economic activities, such as through the use of renewable energy or more efficient production methods. However, technology can also have negative environmental impacts, such as the production of A-waste. Environmental policies and regulations. Environmental policies and regulations can influence economic decision-making and encourage sustainable practices. For example, carbon pricing policies can incentivize the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. Economic globalization. Economic globalization can lead to increased consumption and production, which can have negative environmental impacts. However, globalization can also facilitate the transfer of clean technologies and sustainable practices. Social values and attitudes. The values and attitudes of society towards the environment can influence economic decision making. For example, a growing concern for the environment may lead to increased demand for sustainable products and practices. In conclusion, ecological economics recognizes the interdependence between the economy and the environment, and factors such as natural resource availability, population growth, technological advancements, environmental policies and regulations, economic globalization, and social values and attitudes all play a role in shaping economic decision-making. By considering these factors and emphasizing sustainability, social equity, and the potential environmental and social impacts of economic activities, we can create a more sustainable and equitable future for all.